my wasabis, this is Turby from Couch Wasabi. So for today's video, I'm going to be discussing the difference between your humidifiers and your diffusers. And also the difference between your different kinds of the diffusers. So if this is something that you'd want to learn about, please keep watching. Alright, so for today, I have a lot of devices here in front of me. And hindi pa ito lahat yun. I will still bring out some of the other diffuser examples that I would like to share with you later on. But right now, I just want to put the focus on these. And today, I actually have my humidifier and my different diffusers and why I chose them as my examples for today. So this video is actually a special request of my friend Jenzel. I'm sure you guys know her if you are into beauty tutorials or if you are into makeup tutorials, Jenzel is the girl for it. So for today, I will clarify with you the difference between your humidifiers and your diffusers and if you can interchange them or use them interchangeably. Alright, so first let me just get on with my diffuser. This is actually my crane diffuser. This is the pocket, I think the car type or travel type humidifier and it goes on with a USB plug. You can put this in your car, humidify it, or use it in your homes. I got this for my allergic rhinitis when I was not using essential oils yet. Okay, some people would say that you can use them interchangeably. I, I disagree because like for this, for example, this one, I can't really use my essential oils with this simply because I know this plastic is not really made to handle essential oils. If I put my essential oils in here, I'm sure this is going to be uh, damaged for sure. Number two, um, a lot of these plastic components in here, I know is not fit to use essential oils. So I would just be uh, wasting my money, ruining my humidifier. So this one is built to uh, humidify your room or add moisture into your room. Also, humidifiers are made to add moisture in your air, not really dissipate essential oils into the air. When I say by add moisture into your air, perhaps the particles are not as small as when you are using your diffuser. Depends also on the make of your humidifier. So I know that there are humidifier brands out there. I know Crane came out with their devices that claims to be both a humidifier and a diffuser. So maybe you can check on that. Excuse my cat. So maybe you can check on that. But if they claim that their diffuser or humidifier can only accommodate water-based essential oil, then that is, I guess, a red flag that you cannot use pure essential oils because there's no such thing as a water-based essential oil. There's no such thing as that, meaning fragrance oil lang yun. So, ito, I never put my essential oils in here simply because I know this kind of plastic is not fit to handle essential oils. How would I know that? Okay, I have three diffusers out here. These are marketed as diffusers simply because the mechanism in here helps break down and dissipate the particles of essential oils into fine mist. So is it safe to claim that this is also a humidifier? I would say no, simply because the humidifier normally has a big capacity to add moisture into the air. Your diffusers wouldn't really do that. Like, I know yung mga humidifier, they have even yung mga 1 liter capacity, they have 500 mils capacity. Those came in big machines, and those really add moisture into there. Like this one, this one is really small, I think this is 100 mils, and this does the job for personal humidifier. I put this beside me, but to actually add moisture into the room, this won't do it. So your diffusers, their job is to break down the essential oil particles small enough so that the water can carry it into the air as mist. So it's a misting device. It's a diffuser. It's not really a humidifier wherein you add humidity, you add moisture in the air. All right. So the reason why I wanted to put this as an example is because 
This one is one of my favorite ride or die diffusers. This is actually one of my first essential oil diffusers and it's still alive. This one I love so much because it's really, really affordable. Like really. This was like $30 lang. Sobrang muro niya. It smells good. Meron pang laman. And the reason why I chose this as an example because I will share with you a personal experience why I would encourage you to buy a diffuser that is known to be a diffuser rather than going for generic ones. Okay? And of course, I will share with you tidbits about this nebulizing diffuser or what they call the waterless diffuser because I know some of you guys are also interested with that. Also, after this, I will be discussing your passive diffuser. Kasi uso ngayon ng passive diffusers. Which includes your mask. If you put your essential oils on your mask, that is also considered as a passive diffuser. Alright? So, let's start with your typical ultrasonic water diffuser. This one has a capacity of 100 mils. Like most other essential oil diffusers that I know. I know other brands would have a higher capacity like 240 mils, 500 mils. You don't really need that, to be honest. 100 mils is enough. This is cheaper. 100 mils is cheaper. It does the job. It only plays a role if you're trying to diffuse in an area that's big. For example, if your room is big or for example, it's a common area like your living room and you want everyone to have that, you know, amazing smell or if you are expecting guests, which is discouraged at this time, so you don't really need the big capacity diffuser. I've never even have a diffuser larger than 100 mils. Lahat ng diffuser ko, they're just 100 mils, and it does amazingly. All right, so I got this from Young Living. It's part of the kit that I have. If you buy this, this is about 4,000 pesos, three five to 4,000 pesos. It can be expensive, yes, but the reason why I like this is that all the components here is appropriate to be used with pure essential oils. Meaning, I will not have boo-boos on expecting this baka magdikit or what. You know why? Because this has been my favorite for the longest time because it's really cheap, it's compact, I love bringing this everywhere, it does the job, the mist is amazing. Malakas ang bugo niya. This is also malakas. Of course, mas malakas ito. But, you know, for this size, for this cute little thing, it's cheap. It's amazing. And I'm sure you'd say that also with a lot of the generic diffusers that you see everywhere. You go to Shopee, you go to Lazada, a lot of generic diffusers are there. And I'm sure those works as well. Muji or um, Daiso or whatever those Japanese stores that you get, I'm sure those things work too. But... Okay, this is a great, great example kung bakit ko siya pinili today. Kasi one time when I was diffusing citronella with this, bigla siyang nagdikit. Nag-seal up siya. This has no locking mechanism. Like this one, you just pull it out, up and out, that's it. You put your water, you put your oil, that's it. Ito rin, up and out. Hindi siya kailangan i-twist. No twisting mechanism, it's just up and out. Okay, so... I was using it, perhaps natulu and dito sa side, and then I put it back, and of course I diffused it. So after two days, I wanted to change it because I also shuffle between diffusers. I actually have three diffusers here and I diffuse in my washroom because that's the only safest place in my house because I have a lot of cats. And one time when I wanted to reuse this, hindi ko na siya magamit kasi nag-seal siya, nag -lock siya. All of a sudden, hindi ko siya mabuksan. It was so hard. Hindi ko siya maitaas. Wala siyang locking mechanism. So, there's no twisting. Dapat na mangyari for me to remove it. But I did it with all my might. As in, I tried opening it. It was just sealed. It, it was like, glinu siya together. And I was wondering, what the, what the hell happened here? So, when I look closely, hanggang ngayon meron pa. When I look closely, meron parang now na nangyari, there's like a slight evidence of molten plastic. And then that's when I realized, oh, baka nung pag drop ko ng oil, natulo sa side. And so your essential oils, they eat through plastic, like what I mentioned over and over again. Natunaw niya yung plastic, 
at nung pagsara ko, eventually, the oils stuck them together na parang glue. And it was so hard for me. I tried using like blade to, to remove them together, to pry them off of each other. And I used a lot of things, cards, blades, hanggang sa natanggal ko siya. So yeah, um, there's very little damage, like evidence of damage you can see. And it's a good reminder to me that, you know, it's also good to invest in really good essential oil diffusers. I still love this, but you know, it gives me that lesson na, okay, kaya pala siguro mura ito. Kasi looking at this, this material is exactly the same as this. So that's what I'm saying. This one is not appropriate to be used with essential oils. Malutong siya na plastic. But the inside kasi is different. Ito yung plastic na pwedeng mag-handle ng essential oils. But yung nasa labas niya, ito yung hindi. Ito yung natutunaw. So this one, ito hindi to natutunaw ng essential oil. And this one, I think that's called HDPE plastics are more resilient to essential oils comparing to these kind of plastic. I'm not sure what kind is this, but ito yung parang mga malutong na plastic. For sure, matutunaw yan ng essential oils. So that's the difference. Um, you know, time and again, I go back to this and I really appreciate putting my money to something that I know the warranty policy is good. Although this is past warranty na ha. Past warranty na kasi more than one year, but it's still usable. We love it. The misting is amazing. And one way to prolong the life of your diffusers is to make sure that you clean it every after use, or at least after twice ng gamet, after using it twice, you discard all the water, put it in your toilet bowl, and then just wipe everything with alcohol, even the sonic plate. So that's what I do. It's very, very simple to maintain. You don't even have to diffuse vinegar in it. You don't really have to do that. Just alcohol is fine. And, you know, it keeps the residue off from your sonic plate. This one is also easy to remove. I have another diffuser na medyo mas mahirap linisin from another brand. So this one also, you just have to discard the water, remove that thing that covers the sonic plate, and then clean the sonic plate. I still love this. I still use this. Yun lang. I'm just more careful because now I know that the outside plastic is not really built for essential oils. And with your water diffuser, they almost always operate in the same manner. So you add your water, make it reach the level that it's supposed to reach. So ito meron siyang line, thin line, dapat mong maabot. Ito naman, meron siyang red dot where you have to put the water. And then you can drop in about 6 to 10 drops. I still use up to 6 drops lang kahit na tagal ko nang gumagamit ng essential oils. This would keep me from bringing my body to its sensitization point. Especially if you are a newbie, I would suggest for you to start low and go slow, meaning if you can, you know, smell your oils at one to two drops and stay there. Ako nga, ang tagal-tagal ko na nag-oil. I'm a certified aromatherapist and I've studied it all. And I still use six drops. So imagine that. I don't really feel the need to add more because I can sense it still. And I know that even if I can't smell it, my body is experiencing all the benefits of it. So the recommended diffusing time for your water diffuser is about 30 minutes up to an hour only with one to four hours interval so meaning you turn it on ng 30 minutes to an hour ng intermittent setting meaning on and off on and off and you take breaks within the day for about four hours and then repeat as desired so if you are trying to combat something like may lagnat and you know you just want to contain that ayaw mo magkahawaan kayo sa bahay you can use and diffuse this every other hour or every four hours pwede rin so depende na lang kung ilang kayo sa bahay or kung may kid ba or kung meron bang senior so it depends if your diffuser kagaya nito walang intermittent setting wag nyo nang bilhin because <laughs> this is an old one wala na to this is actually phase out na the newer version of this meron intermittent setting this is a cheap one pero meron siyang intermittent setting so that's why I really like this don't go for diffusers na magdamag lang nagsispray if you can't 
make sure na matatime mo yung sarili mo and control up to one hour lang. Kung wala siyang intermittent setting, make sure to use it at the maximum of one hour only. Especially if you are new. Also, did you know that diffusing your essential oils is effective in killing airborne pathogens? So, at this time, when there's a health threat, you can probably diffuse some of your oils and it would help freshen up the air. It would help make your ambient environment more clean. These are actually the safest and the mildest. You can use waterless diffuser for 30 minutes to an hour. Hindi pwede magdamag. I know a lot of you guys are encouraged to use it magdamag, but you no, know, you don't really need that because your body actually appreciates or harnesses the benefits of your oils in 20 minutes. It goes to every single cell of your body, up to the tips of your toes, up to the tips of your nails. All right? So let's move on with my favorite. This is the waterless diffuser or your nebulizing diffuser. I got this years, years ago. Organic Aroma sent it to me early on in my oiling um, journey and I've been using it ever since. It's like my favorite talaga. Alright, so what's the difference between your water diffuser and your waterless diffuser? First, there's no water involved with this. So you drop in your oils as is, puro siya, the drop mo yung oil dito. Therefore, mas magastos ito. So you tend to use more oils with this. In fact, it's encouraged. In fact, as, as I remember, according to the manual, kulang yung 10 drops dito. I know it was like 15, 15 to 20. Um, and so I attended this webinar recently and it is advised to use 1 ml minimum, 1 to 5 ml na when you are planning to use this. So that's a lot. 1 ml is about 20 drops. So 20 drops when you're trying to use this. Kasi naman, if you put lang 10 drops, kamusta naman how short that time will be. I'm sure hindi mo ma-appreciate yung oils mo. Believe me, I've used this countless times. So for everyone who is suggesting to use 8 drops with this, hindi ko lang po sa naabutin yung 8 drops nito. But anyway, it's for this model, okay? So I'm not sure with other nebulizing diffuser models. Meron sigurong mas maliit. But for this model, I remember this was about 15 drops dapat. Isang gamitan. And then with the recent webinar that I've attended from my school, it was suggested to use 1 ml to 5 ml. So that's about 20 drops minimum. And that's a lot because with here, you only need to use six drops and this would last for days come on this would last for hours because there's water in it but here if you use like 20 drops and you try to finish it off i'm sure you'll finish it off in two hours and imagine you're finishing off 20 drops in one to two hours it's all of that concentrated essential oils in your air sometimes it's not that good sometimes it's good it's case-to-case -case basis because i was told by my teacher that this is actually what they use in medical facilities in the United States. So they don't really use this. Ito yung mas prefer nila, yung mga nebulizing diffuser. But ako, as a home user, I honestly prefer these. That's why I have more of these than this. Also, ito, isang hulugan sira na ito. Ito, nahulug ko na ito, hindi pa sira. Ito, nasira na. So, so it's more fragile. The cost and risk correlation is pretty high on this side that's why i don't really use it but it's a really nice table piece i mean you know when you put it beside your bed table especially if you don't have cats running around i'm sure it's gonna be fine i'm sure it's nice and it's it's really nice because the mechanism here is different um there are filaments in it that breaks down the oil and turn it into a fine mist it's really amazing and remember when that happens if especially if habit mo na magamoy tapatin yung ilong mo sa diffuser don't ever do that here because you are diffusing pure and concentrated essential oils and especially if you are using hot oils like oregano or thieves you might burn yourself so yun mas maingat ka dapat dito and when you are using this you only have to diffuse for 10 minutes up to 30 minutes maximum see the difference ito 30 minutes to an hour ito 10 minutes to 30 minutes maximum and the spaces in between is also an hour to four hours. Same, ito, you, you diffuse an hour to four hours interval. Ito ren, an hour to four hours interval. But the length of time is so much shorter, 10 minutes to 30 minutes, simply because you are diffusing pure, 
concentrated essential oils into the air. And so if you have pets and children at home, I don't really recommend this. Only use this in a room that is filled with healthy adults. Yung walang complications, yung walang tinatake the medicines, so that, you know, we just stay away from the risks. Alright, now that we are done with your humidifier, with your water diffuser and your waterless diffuser or your nebulizer diffuser, let us go on with the passive diffusers. Have you guys heard of passive diffusers? If not, let me just share with you. So passive diffusers are specific objects that you can use wherein you can drop your oils and enjoy also your essential oils through your olfactory nerve. So, meron tayong parang ganito. These are essential oil pendants or essential oil necklaces. Nagkabuhol siya. <laughs> but I love these. These are given to me as gifts. And um, I really love it kasi it's the same mechanism. Meron lang akong bigger one and smaller one. And I used to wear this a lot before. Now I can't because I have so many cats. So these would normally have felt cloths in between like a locket. So, meron siyang felt cloth inside. It has a magnetic mechanism to lock it in. So, nagsasarado siya mag-isa. And this is a bigger capacity one. And then, this is a smaller one. I think given by my mom. Yung isa, ayaw kung sino yung nagbigay. I don't remember where I put all the filter. That's why I think I have to buy more. <laughs> I think that's the reason why I stopped using it. So, here's the very, very thick filter cloth. And then you just lock it in. And so after you put your oils and your filter cloth inside your essential oil necklace, you just wear it like a regular necklace. And so when you put it on like so, you can actually smell the oils from here. And ito mas malaki, so mas maamay mo siya. So it's a really nice piece wherein you can, I guess, protect yourself. You can actually put drops of thieves here and then go around. I mean, it's not a foolproof way to protect you, but you know, it's something that you can enjoy. Or if you are having anxiety, this is a good passive diffuser. And with this, you can actually put as much as you can, meaning pag hindi mo na siya naamo, you can put a little more. But wag naman drenched it in essential oils. So there's no like specific time because it's passive naman. And I actually prefer this more than using this because ito naman yung parang essential oil bracelet. The problem with this is once you put the essential oils here and then it goes around, you know, sometimes kakalat siya sa skin. So I like this better because it's enclosed in metal. So there's no chance of it hurting myself. As compared to this one, baka tumulo sa skin. So, wag na lang. And there's no risk of photosensitivity with this versus ito. So, this is also a passive diffuser. This is what you call lava bracelet. Because it has holes per bead. And it can carry oils then. So, that is also used as a passive diffuser. Another passive diffuser na usong-uso ngayon is something like this. So, this one is a gift to me as well. Yeah. This is one of the famous passive diffusers. This is made from Placer de Paris. And you basically just drop your oils in here and then just hang it anywhere. Like hang it in your car or hang it in your closet or whatever. And you know, you just let the essential oil evaporate. <laughs> so it's just the mechanism. Niya. It's called a passive diffuser because you don't really use electricity. You can even use other materials as your passive diffuser. For example, you kang maliit na marble container or parang yung mga holder ng incense sticks na maliliit na stone or marble. So you can actually use that as a passive diffuser. Don't use plastic because again, your essential oils can eat through plastic. So it's not recommended for you to use plastic as your passive diffuser. Other people use cotton, cotton balls. But be careful with that because when you put cotton, meron, may case before na ginamit yung cotton ball, nilagay niya sa aircon blades, yung blades ng aircon. And then, as you air conveyed. Because your essential oils can eat through plastic. Remember that. So, ito. it's one of the safest to use as your passive diffuser. If you want to buy something like this, I know someone who's selling it. I will link her down below. So, you can also buy her handcrafted passive diffusers. And 
They also work well as a gift. So ito, I think this is a giftable pack of plant therapy years ago. Also, since this is very, very tiny, you expect that the exposure is not really vast. More or less, kung saan lang tumalapit, yun lang may expose sa oil. So, pwede siya may personal diffuser. But kung ganun lang, I prefer using these kinds. So much nicer and prettier. But of course, a little more expensive. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you've learned a lot from this video. I hope you've understand now the difference between your humidifier and your diffusers and the difference between your water diffuser and your waterless diffuser. If this video is something that you enjoyed, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel to learn more about essential oils. I also recently launched a podcast called Live Well with Aromatherapist Jerby Go. I have a new episode this Sunday and it's gonna be a casual conversation about essential oils with me and Melissa Ricks. So she's my special guest for this Sunday. I hope you guys listen into that because I actually have a giveaway on that episode. So Zalaroma has agreed to sponsor a giveaway and we will be giving a special set of oils and this oil is not your basic set. So this set is actually a hand-picked set because I picked all the oils in it. It's not your basic set because the oils in it are geranium because geranium is one of the best oils for your skin especially if you're fighting like texture or yung mga spots. Geranium is a good oil for that. I also included juniper berry because juniper berry is a good kid safe respiratory support oil. I also included lavender because everybody loves lavender and it's one of the most basic oils that you would appreciate especially if you are anxious or stressed. I also included eucalyptus because it's also a good decongestant. It's also a good respiratory support oil but you can't use eucalyptus for 9 years old and below remember that. And I also included lemon and spearmint in that kit because I know everybody loves their lemons and I know you will appreciate spearmint especially if you've never tried Zellerova spearmint you will love it so if you're excited to win that set don't forget to join me this Sunday on my podcast that's live well with aromatherapist Jerby Go. it's available for streaming on Spotify and your Apple podcast it's free so you just have to download Spotify and stream it to be able to join the raffle I will be giving the full mechanics on my Spotify episode, so be sure to listen in. It's just a short episode, come on. And of course, I'm gonna be with Melissa, so I'm sure it's interesting. Anyway, guys, I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!